What up guys, how are you guys doing today? Apple just had their October 23rd event uh, where they actually had more things to show us compared to uh, the event that took place in September which was when we they announced the iPhone 5, the new iPods, and uh, some other updates for, uh, and iOS 6. But now they announced a lot more, so let's take a look at this. Alright, so I'm actually not going to bore you guys this time with all the updates, so I'm just going to say them quickly uh, as fast as I can. So, uh, uh, 200 million devices are upgraded to iOS 6. Great. What? Uh, not a surprise because a lot of people have iOS 6, and, and plus there's a lot of fuss about the new maps. And uh, now Apple has uh, unveiled a new version of iBooks. So you guys aren't familiar with iBooks. iBooks is an application where you can actually read books on your uh, iOS device so iPhones, iPod touches and iPads for those of you that are new to Apple or maybe you guys just got your first iPhone or your first iPod or your first iPad which is like your very first Apple product that I'm just explaining it to those people so that way they get an idea so they have a new version of iBooks with continuous scrolling and the iBooks author has also been updated now Besides that, what else has been new in iBooks? Well, now th this is better integrated with iCloud because now you can allow for quotes. So if you guys have a quote that you find interesting that you read it in your book, you can actually share those on Facebook and Twitter. And now it has support up to 40 languages. So other than that, iBook sales, you know, it succeeded in 400 million sales and of course it's updated and it's available today in the app store so you guys want to download it go ahead so I post there's nothing much to it it's just a like very minor update all right now that we got all the boring stuff out of the way hopefully that was quick for you guys let's actually get on to the good stuff the best part uh, in terms of an Apple event and Apple has announced a 13 inch MacBook Pro with retina display and now uh, this has a resolution of 2560 by 1600 uh, resolution and this of course has the Thunderbolt HDMI and this is starting at 1699 so $1699 uh, and it has over 4 million um, pixels all right, this is under 3.6 pounds. So that's basically what you get with this 13-inch MacBook Pro with Retina display. And so currently we have the Retina MacBook Pro, and those are only selling in 15 inches and 17 inches. And we thought that there wouldn't be a 13-inch model, but looks like there is. Oh no, guys, I take that back. I'm sorry. There's no 17-inch. Uh, model of the Retina MacBook Pro. I kind of forgot this. <laughs> uh, I, I'm pretty sure uh, there's no 17 inch version and that there uh, isn't. Maybe I'll put an uh, annotation right here somewhere. So uh, this has a, a pixels per inch uh, of 232 uh, and this is uh, 226 more than the other Retina MacBook Pro. Um, for what I'm reading here off of Engadget.com, and of course this has three, um, this has USB 3.0 ports, uh, 2.5 gigahertz i5 processor, 8 gigabytes of RAM, 128 gigabytes of flash memory, uh, and you can uh, expect a 768 gigabyte uh, with a i7 processor. This is a slimmer uh, design, 0 0.75 inches thick, 20% thinner. So that's all that is coming with this 13 inch MacBook Pro and this is actually shipping today. Alright guys, another thing that Apple has updated is the Mac Mini. And now it comes in two flavors. For $599 you have an i5 dual core processor and for $999 which is a thousand bucks then you have an i7 quad core server. All right. So what's new in these in this MacBook Pro? Not much, you know. The 599 model with the dual core i5 processor, you got a 2.5 gigahertz dual core i5 IV Bridge processor, 4 gigabytes of RAM, 500 gigabytes of 
HDD hard disk drive, so this is not a solid state drive. And the second one is, of course, the $999 model, 2.3 gigahertz quad core i7 IV bridge, 4 gigabytes of RAM, and dual one terabyte HDDs. So this is that's a crap load of storage. A one terabyte is worth a thousand gigabyte. Uh, five. So it's pretty much a 500 difference more compared to the 500 gigabyte model. All right, and of course, uh, uh, you can get a 16 gigabyte to RAM in this thing if you wanted to. Plus, you can add a 256 gigabyte uh, solid state drive. Uh, and this doesn't have an optical drive, so you'll have to purchase the optical drive separately because that's how it is with the Mac Mini server. I don't know why Apple has done that. I think they made a big mistake on that, but that's in a later video. Uh, graphics are not handled by a Intel HD 4000 GPU, Bluetooth 4.0, handling wireless devices, of course. And you have four USB 3.0 ports, so they don't have a USB 2.0 port anymore because those are actually on the same port because USB 3.0 is compatible with USB 2.0 for those of you that are wondering. And, of course, this has a built-in SD card reader and HDMI out. So that's pretty much it. The Mac Mini has a Thunderbolt port as well as a SDXC Gigabit Ethernet port, Firewire 800 ports, and this is going to come with OS 10 Mountain Lion pre-installed. So that is all it to the Mac Mini. I don't see a release date when this is coming, but of course we are going to see it see it soon. You know, it's not going to be that long. So that's it for the Mac Mini. And yeah, yeah, the Mac Mini seems like yeah, these are pretty much just minor upgrades in my opinion. I mean, they just updated the ports and everything. Now, there's no like drastically redesign change at all. But overall, if you guys want a small desktop instead of getting an iMac, then this is the option for you. All right, guys. Now, the next big thing that Apple has announced is a new iMac. So now this has a new slimmer design and with Ivy Bridge, and this is starting at $12.99. So this is the next generation of the iMac. And I feel like it's been a few years since the uh, iMac has been updated. I think it, it has been, what, four, five, or three years? Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, but Apple uh, unveiled the redesigned iMac in this uh, event to its iMac desktop in three years. Oh, okay, so it's been three years. All right, now this has an Ivory Bridge Core i5 and Core i7 processor, uh, but th this is actually uh, a replacement to the one um, from 2009. So its edges are just five millimeters thick. Uh, construction with friction stir welding as well as a gapless, which is a less reflective display, laminated together with the glass. Wow. So the screen sizes, they, uh, they're still the same, uh, you know, with a 21 and a half inch 1080p model and a 27 inch uh, uh, 2560 by 1400 model, but there is no retina display in this iMac, unfortunately. I know some of you guys were looking for the retina display. Uh, it did not happen in this new iMac. I'm sorry for those of you guys that are disappointed. But they do have front-facing cameras, which is 720p capable with dual mics with NVIDIA's G4 600 era graphics up to 32 gigabytes of RAM. And you have storage options with three terabytes of spinning storage, 768 gigabytes of solid state drive, or something Apple has called the fusion drive mixing 128 gigabytes of flash with one terabyte or three terabyte of conventional storage and we'll uh, I'll get into detail of what the fusion drive really is right now in gadget just mentioned it right here however one thing that I do not like about this new iMac and this is what I hate about the new MacBook Pro retina display there's no optical drive Apple I'm thinking it's too early to uh, take away CDs from everybody stop doing this yet <laughs> So the 21 half inch model is going to ship in November and it's going to just set you back on $12.99 for 2.7 gigahertz core i5, 8 gigabytes of RAM and a one terabyte drive. 
where as well as the 27 inch model then starting at 1799 with 2.9 GHz of core i5 will have the same memory and same storage but uh, the, the larger iMac isn't going to ship until December uh, so uh, at the same time if you want uh, the larger uh, iMac you have to wait uh, for another two months but another two months can't hurt Alright, so back to what I was saying about the iMac it. Now Apple put this thing in called the Fusion Drive. And the Fusion Drive is basically a build to order option for the new iMac. So you have to get this built into the new iMac if you want it. So what does this have? This is 128 GB of flash storage, 1 TB or 3 TB HDD. And it fused in a single volume, faster reads and writes. And it just works by itself, meaning works automatically. Uh, all right, and this is gonna get you the new performance of an uh, SD uh, SSD <laughs> with extra storage uh, of HDD. So you pretty much get SSD HDD jammed up in into one, and that's what makes it called the Fusion Drive for the new iMac. So with custom software and Mountain Lion. Um, I'm still not uh, uh, understanding what this Fusion Drive thing uh, is all about. I'll have to look into this a little bit more. I'm sorry if I haven't come prepared, but I just jumped in the internet, got the uh, the pages, and then I'm just reading it off from Engadget.com. But the Fusion Drive, I will have to look uh, into it a little bit more. Uh, because so far, right now, I'm just thinking that it's just like two uh, hard drives combined into one, and they're or each different hard drives but and this way it's supposed to be like faster uh, and better than just having one type of hard drive uh, in your computer I don't know what do you guys think the fusion drive so far is confusing me alright now I can actually get into something that I can actually talk about because I actually know this more and I was not expecting this thing at all what uh, I'm about to say is that Apple announced a fourth generation iPad. What? They already announced the third one around March <laughs> this year, and now they just announced a new one this year in October. But uh, what's new about this? Well, first of all, let me give you a hint lightning connector, FaceTime HD camera. What else do you guys want to know? Let's take a look. So, well, we weren't expecting this. All Apple did was update this. Uh, the third generation iPad and and claiming it as the fourth generation iPad uh, but with some new stuff in there of course uh, alright so the iPad third gen you know uh, we all know that it had the A5X processor and the 30 pin dot connector port Sam resembled the same uh, design as the iPad 2 but with 4G LTE capabilities well it still has that except now this has a A6X silicone uh, with quad core graphics and Apple is claiming this is supposed to double the performance of the A5X chip all right uh, of course this also has a dual band 80211 A B G and N for Wi-Fi as well as LTE compatibility and not only that not only is it on Verizon in AT&T but this is also on Sprint uh, so this is including Sprint and KDDI whatever that's supposed to mean with a 720p FaceTime camera on the front uh, with new image processor that was seen in the iPhone 5. Of course, lightning port. And uh, pricing stays the same uh, as the third generation iPad with 16GB Wi-Fi version for $499 and a 16GB model with cellular on board with $629. So Apple just kept the prices exactly the same for this fourth generation iPad. So all Apple did to this was they just did minor upgrades to it. I mean, they updated the port uh, from 30 pin dock connector port to the uh, lightning connector, uh, as well as some of the processors uh, in there. So, this fourth generation iPad is a minor upgrade compared to the third generation, which I was surprised this actually happened, uh, especially in the same year when the third generation iPad was already announced. Because the fourth generation, I was expecting for a redesign, but it looks like they did not do that.
Alright guys, now the last but not least, the much hyped iPad mini. I still don't understand why Apple did this to be honest, but uh, that's in a later video like I said before. So, this is a 7.9 inch iPad mini with a resolution of 1024 by 768 with an A5 CPU. Uh, and you do have an optional version of this iPad mini which is LTE. Uh, Alright, so what's going on with this iPad? Well, first of all, uh, the display, uh, it's basically the same as the second generation iPad, so it doesn't have a retina display just like the third generation, and uh, as well as the newest iPhones and uh, iPod touches. And this is pretty much so far what I'm seeing on Engadget.com is that this is pretty much uh, just trying to compete with the Nexus 7, the Kindle Fire HD, and the Nook HD, which again, I don't think it's really necessary because they're going to be blown out of the water by Apple anyways. I don't see why Apple did this, but uh, this is actually 0.9 inch larger than the Nexus 7, uh, and it makes the iPad mini 35% uh, more display area than uh, the one Google and uh, Asus created together, All right, as well as the hardware size. It's 7.2 millimeters thick, 0.68 pounds, and manufactured with a new process. Same anodized edges that you find on the iPhone 5, all right? Uh, 5 megapixel camera, uh, and on the LTE modem. If you wanted to buy the cell cellular model, running the latest generation A5 CPU, and not only that, as well as pre-orders, you can actually order this for $329 for a 16 gigabyte Wi-Fi only model. And those pre-orders will start on Friday, the October 26th, and will begin shipping on November 22nd. And of course, the seller models will begin shipping a few weeks after the word on AT&T, Verizon, and Sprint with a 16 gigabyte base model costing $459 running all the way to $659 for the 1664GB model. So that's basically it for the whole event. Anything more on the iPad mini? Well, there, there's, like I said before, they're announced on Verizon, at t and Sprint and will be coming in mid-November. So what do you guys think about Apple's event? Do you think oh, it was exciting, non-exciting. Um, I do have some thoughts about this, but this is going to be in a later video. So thank you so much for watching. If you guys like this video, click the like button down below. I'm sorry if it seemed like I wasn't that prepared, but I just jumped on the internet. And that's how I was able to get my coverage video for you guys. So at least yeah, it was pretty decent. And at least you got some info out of it. I will see you guys in the next video. You have a good day now and take care.